Peter Adia's transformative book, Outlive, serves as an all-encompassing manual, providing invaluable insights into extending lifespan, promoting well-being, and achieving a more gratifying existence. By integrating the latest scientific advancements with practical advice, this enlightening guide empowers individuals to optimize their exercise routines, dietary choices, sleep patterns, and emotional equilibrium, thereby maximizing their longevity. Peter Atia, a distinguished physician and esteemed expert in the field of longevity, centers his work on the science of human optimization. With an MD from Stanford University, he has cultivated an illustrious career that includes notable positions at renowned institutions such as the Johns Hopkins Hospital and the National Cancer Institute. Adia's influence extends beyond the written word, as he captivates audiences through his immensely popular podcast, The Peter Adia Drive, where he delves into the realms of nutrition, exercise, and mental well-being. In collaboration with Bill Gifford, a highly respected authority on health and wellness, Blending his talents in both journalism and science, Outlive represents the culmination of their expertise. Gifford, acclaimed for his best-selling works including Spring Chicken and Ledyard, adds an additional layer of wisdom to this exceptional collaboration. The modern era has ushered in a myriad of deadly diseases, including cancer, heart disease, and type 2 diabetes, among others. Despite the advancements in our lifestyles compared to our ancestors, certain aspects of our contemporary world are adversely affecting our health. The central predicament lies in the profound changes our environment has undergone in recent centuries, while our genetic makeup remains unchanged. Take fructose, for instance. Once a benign substance found in fruits and honey, it has now permeated our food supply, leading to excessive fat storage. However, the detriments to our well-being extend beyond our dietary choices. Factors such as sedentary lifestyles, disrupted sleep patterns, and the impact of social media on our emotional state exert a significant toll. Consequently, it becomes imperative to devise a comprehensive strategy to thrive in this unconventional new world. Outlive focuses its attention on the four key areas that warrant concentration for enhancing health, exercise, nutrition, sleep, and emotional well-being. Rejecting the notion of a one-size-fits-all approach, the book provides readers with the tools to construct a personalized framework, tailored to their unique needs. It emphasizes the importance of remaining receptive to experimentation and adaptability, eschewing rigid adherence to specific diets or exercise ideologies. The ultimate objective is to foster longevity and well-being, continuously surpassing the accomplishments of the previous decades, thereby enriching each phase of life. Outlive is not a mere book, it represents a transformative expedition that revolutionizes our perception and cultivation of personal well-being. With Adia and Gifford as trusted guides, readers embark on an extraordinary quest to unlock their full potential, transcending the constraints of time and embracing a life characterized by vitality and purpose. Idea 1. Exercise. The key to longevity and vitality. You're likely familiar with the numerous advantages of regular exercise, but did you realize its pivotal role in achieving a long and fulfilling life? Surprisingly, even a modest amount of physical activity can yield remarkable results. Exercise not only fortifies your cardiovascular system and muscles, but it also enhances circulation and benefits your brain by triggering the production of a molecule known as BDNF, brain-derived neurotrophic factor, which positively impacts memory. In essence, exercise possesses a magical quality that contributes to longevity and improved well-being. It's not a matter of choosing between cardiovascular workouts or weightlifting. Instead, it's about discovering exercise routines that suit your individual needs. Here's the astounding part. Even a small amount of regular exercise can make an enormous difference, potentially extending your lifespan by several years delaying the onset of chronic diseases, and even slowing down or reversing cognitive decline. Simply transitioning from a sedentary lifestyle to engaging in 90 minutes of exercise per week can reduce the risk of mortality from any cause by 14%. Furthermore, being in excellent physical condition significantly reduces the likelihood of premature death compared to leading a sedentary existence. Extensive studies reveal that individuals with the highest level of cardiorespiratory fitness exhibit the lowest mortality rates. Surprisingly, 
having poor cardiorespiratory fitness poses a greater risk than smoking. You might be pondering, but I'm advanced in age, how can I begin weightlifting? Remarkably, strength training holds immense importance for people of all ages, including older adults and those who may be physically frail. It can enhance mobility and physical functionality, thereby mitigating the risks of falls and other health issues. Here's an enjoyable perspective to maintain an active lifestyle as you age, envision yourself as an athlete of life. Envisage training for a centenarian decathlon, a compilation of 10 physical tasks you aspire to accomplish at the age of 100. These tasks could include climbing stairs, getting up from the floor, or hiking a trail. By setting goals for your fitness journey and remaining motivated, you can cultivate a well-rounded approach to staying active. So, select your 10 events and commence training for them. The key is to engage in diverse forms of physical activity, ensuring that you remain active in various ways. This approach substantially heightens the likelihood of maintaining fitness and good health at the age of 100, defying the notion that old age is synonymous with decline and suffering. Idea 2. Mastering the three dimensions of fitness for lifelong vitality. Now that you understand the significance of maintaining a lifelong passion for exercise, let's delve into some specific strategies you can incorporate into your training routine. There are three key aspects of fitness, aerobic endurance and efficiency, strength and stability. It is crucial to address each of these areas to preserve your health and strength as you grow older. Improving aerobic endurance and efficiency involves training within Zone 2 cardio, which focuses on a sustainable intensity level for extended periods. This typically means a moderate intensity that requires around 60 to 70 percent of your maximum heart rate. During this type of training, you should be able to carry on a conversation, but not belt out a power ballad. Zone 2 training helps your body utilize fat as fuel, enhances endurance, and reduces the risk of chronic diseases. An example of Zone 2 training is brisk walking for 6 to 10 miles daily. Starting with two 30-minute sessions per week can yield significant benefits. To make Zone 2 training more enjoyable, consider listening to podcasts or audiobooks during your workouts. VO Max workouts, on the other hand, aim to increase the maximum amount of oxygen your body can utilize during exercise. These workouts often involve high-intensity interval training, HIT, where you alternate between periods of intense exercise and rest. HIT is associated with longevity and improved functional capacity. To begin, supplement your Zone 2 work with one or two VO Max workouts per week, consisting of intervals lasting 3 to 8 minutes at your maximum sustainable pace, followed by easy exercise. Don't overlook the importance of strength training, which helps safeguard against physical frailty and injuries in later stages of life. As muscle mass and bone density naturally decline over time, incorporating heavy resistance training becomes essential for strengthening muscle fibers and maintaining bone health. Activities like rucking, hiking with a loaded backpack, or lifting heavy weights contribute to overall body strength. Lastly, grip strength plays a significant role in overall strength and is even associated with longevity. Enhance grip strength through exercises such as farmer's carries and dead hangs from a pull-up bar. Additionally, focus on eccentric strength, pulling movements, and hip-hinging exercises like single-leg step-ups and split-stance Romanian deadlifts. Given the amount of information, it's advisable to learn these exercises from a knowledgeable trainer or utilize instructional videos as a valuable resource. By integrating these training methods and prioritizing aerobic endurance, strength, and stability, you can establish a foundation for a fulfilling and active life as you age. Idea 3. Navigating the path to optimal nutrition. Now that you have established your exercise routine, let's transition and explore the realm of nutrition. A significant challenge faced by Americans today is the prevalence of the standard American diet, SAD, characterized by excessive sugar, refined carbohydrates, and processed oils. This type of diet often leads to overeating and poor health. To break free from the SAD pattern, you can consider caloric restriction, dietary restriction, or time restriction. However, it's crucial to recognize that each approach has its advantages and disadvantages, so select the one that aligns best with your lifestyle. 
Caloric restriction provides the most flexibility but requires meticulous tracking of your food intake and resisting temptations to deviate from your plan. Dietary restriction involves eliminating specific foods, but its effectiveness depends on creating a caloric deficit. Time restriction, such as intermittent fasting, can be counterproductive if it leads to overeating or insufficient protein intake. Now, let's shift our focus to the positive aspect of what you should include in your diet. First and foremost, prioritize protein as it plays a vital role in building and maintaining muscle, especially as we age. Aim for a minimum of 1 gram of protein per pound of body weight per day or 2.2 grams per kilogram. Distribute your protein consumption throughout the day and opt for high-quality sources like whey protein isolate instead of soy protein isolate. Adequate protein intake also contributes to a feeling of fullness, helping to reduce overall calorie intake. Remember, protein not only promotes satiety but also helps preserve muscle mass, particularly as you grow older. Animal sources of protein are generally more effective than plant sources, so consider this when planning your meals. Next, let's discuss fats. Not all fats are equal. Your diet should incorporate a balance of saturated, monounsaturated, and polyunsaturated fats, with an emphasis on omega-3 fatty acids for heart and brain health. Choose sources like extra virgin olive oil, avocados, and nuts, while reducing consumption of butter, lard, and omega-6 rich oils such as corn, soybean, and sunflower. While time-restricted eating, or fasting, can be beneficial, it may not be suitable for everyone. Different fasting methods include short-term eating windows, alternate day fasting, and extended fasting. Intermittent fasting and time-restricted eating have gained popularity as weight loss strategies, but their effectiveness and potential drawbacks are subject to debate. Fasting triggers various physiological and cellular mechanisms, such as decreased insulin levels and activation of cellular repair genes. However, prolonged fasting can lead to muscle loss. If you decide to explore fasting, it is advisable to proceed cautiously and seek guidance from your doctor. Lastly, let's embrace what Peter Adia refers to as a Nutrition 3.0 mindset. It revolves around finding the right balance that suits you personally. Avoid overcomplicating things and instead focus on reducing overall energy intake, ensuring sufficient protein intake, and achieving the appropriate mix of fats. Additionally, remember that exercise and spending time outdoors are equally important for your overall well-being. Ultimately, there is no universally applicable approach, so it's up to you to discover the balance that works best for your own dietary needs. Idea 4. Unveiling the Power of Sleep transforming your health and vitality. Armed with the essentials for exercise and nutrition, it's time to explore the profound influence that sleep has on your well-being. Peter Atia gained a deep understanding of the importance of sleep for physical and cognitive health after a life-threatening experience. Following 60 hours without sleep, he nearly caused a severe car accident due to drowsiness. This harrowing incident serves as a powerful reminder for everyone to reassess their relationship with sleep and prioritize it as a crucial aspect of a healthy lifestyle. Beyond personal anecdotes, numerous studies highlight the detrimental effects of sleep deprivation. Insufficient sleep has been linked to an increased risk of heart attacks, type 2 diabetes, workplace accidents, and more. It's not just about feeling tired. It significantly impacts your overall health. For instance, sleeping less than 7 hours per night raises the risk of premature death by 12%. Alarming statistics reveal that sleep-deprived drivers are responsible for approximately 20% of car accidents, while sleep deprivation contributes to more workplace accidents and medical errors. However, let's shift our focus to the positive aspects of sleep. Research indicates that an average of 7.5 to 8.5 hours of sleep each night is optimal. With quality sleep, physical and cognitive performance can improve, including athletic abilities and memory consolidation. Additionally, sleep helps regulate metabolism and reduces the risk of chronic health issues such as metabolic dysfunction, type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and obesity. Many individuals seek a magic pill to induce sleep, but the reality is that many sleep aids fail to enhance sleep quality. In fact, some can even harm sleep, like Ambien or Valium. 
So, how can you naturally improve your sleep? Start by evaluating your sleep habits, utilizing sleep trackers or questionnaires to assess your sleep quality, such as the Pittsburgh Sleep Quality Index. Remember, everyone has different chronotypes. Some are morning people, while others are night owls. Work with your natural rhythm whenever possible. Now, let's delve into concrete tips. Minimize exposure to blue light before bedtime, perhaps by replacing LED bulbs with warmer ones. Keep your bedroom cool, around 65 degrees Fahrenheit or 18 degrees Celsius, and ensure it is as dark as possible. Avoid screens at least an hour before bedtime, as late-night scrolling on social media can disrupt sleep. Be mindful of your consumption habits as well. Moderate your intake of caffeine and alcohol, as they can interfere with your sleep. Finally, prioritize stress management, with meditation being a transformative practice for relaxation. Even superstar athletes like LeBron James prioritize sleep for peak performance, reportedly sleeping about 12 hours a day with specialized mattresses and pillows. Take inspiration from LeBron's approach and establish a sleep routine that suits you. Consistency is key, and by adhering to a routine, you'll embark on a journey toward improved sleep and enhanced overall well-being. Idea 5. Unlocking Emotional Well-Being, the Key to Longevity You've arrived at the final element of longevity, emotional well-being. When contemplating health, physical well-being typically takes center stage, but emotional health is equally, if not more, significant. After all, what purpose does a long life serve if it lacks happiness and fulfillment? Consider this, someone battling depression may overlook the importance of cancer screenings or monitoring blood sugar levels. Conversely, Individuals who are physically fit may underestimate the impact of emotional struggles on their overall health. Hence, if you're facing emotional or mental health challenges, it's crucial to seek professional assistance. Addressing these issues is vital for maintaining good physical health. Nurturing emotional health can prove challenging. Unlike physical health, emotional well-being can be challenging to recognize and diagnose. This necessitates a proactive and personalized approach. Remain vigilant for signs of emotional health issues, seek help early, and commit to daily practices that foster long-term emotional well-being. Numerous tools are available to monitor and sustain emotional balance. Medications, meditation, and psychedelics can be helpful, but they aren't instant solutions. They should be viewed as part of comprehensive psychotherapy, such as dialectical behavior therapy, DBT. DBT, a validated method, focuses on emotional regulation, distress tolerance, interpersonal effectiveness, and self-management, all rooted in mindfulness. However, it's important to acknowledge that change requires time and effort. Consistent daily practice and therapeutic work are fundamental to achieving genuine recovery. Self-reflection is another crucial aspect to consider. Many individuals struggle with self-loathing and an excessive need for external validation, Working on your relationship with yourself and recognizing how past experiences shape present behavior are essential. For instance, childhood trauma can manifest in various ways, including addiction, codependency, and attachment disorders. Addressing these issues can be challenging, but it's crucial to do so. To promote emotional well-being, engage in regular self-reflection or meditation. Remember, healing is a gradual process so be patient and compassionate with yourself along the way. Returning to the theme of longevity, to remain young and healthy, focus on looking ahead and pursuing your dreams and aspirations. Engage in activities that bring you joy and fulfillment, such as spending time in nature, practicing mindfulness, or journaling. Always bear in mind that emotional health is as important as physical health. Take care of yourself and do not hesitate to seek help when necessary. With time, patience, and the right resources, you can make progress towards a happier and healthier life. Summary. Engaging in physical activity, adopting a well-balanced diet, prioritizing quality sleep, and nurturing emotional well-being are essential facets of extending and enhancing your lifespan. Exercise enhances blood circulation and cognitive function, while a comprehensive diet incorporating protein, healthy fats, 
and controlled calorie intake aids in maintaining muscle mass and overall well-being. Placing importance on sufficient and consistent sleep patterns contributes to optimal physical and mental performance. Furthermore, attending to your emotional health is equally crucial, necessitating the resolution of issues such as depression or trauma, thus bolstering your holistic well-being. By dedicating attention to each of these domains, you can strive towards a rewarding, energetic, and healthy existence. Now, thank you for taking the time to watch, and if you found value in this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And in case you want to buy the book, use the link in the description. Trust me, you won't regret it.